I was looking at Bellator. You still rolling? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, see, I'm talking about Bellator, and right away he wants to go for a hill. Now, what happened was, I'm Shane Congo, and this was his opponent. He was sitting here. He tried to hook the hill, but it's very hard. With leg locks, it's very important that you, first of all, you clear yourself. So once he's here, you hold this, you're going to kick your leg through. And look what I'm doing. I'm pointing my toes to the right. Now, if he tries to hook the leg, it ain't going to happen. He can't hook my legs. Now, while he's busy with that, you know, maybe you give him a little bit so you keep him busy so he might think he has it. He's going to lose the stretch of his own knee. Now look, it's hard for me to heel hook. Nobody uses the knees. The knees are the most important. Look, I only have to do this. There's the heel hook. Only thing you need to do, pull the knee, grab the heel, and then go. Now, but still now, he might pull this off here. Try to peel this one off. No, with your hands. He starts peeling my hands. Now watch what I'm going to do now. This I did, I, I, I did this one time in Japan, in a fight, nobody clapped, they thought it was fake. Watch what I'm doing. This is beautiful. I push his toes down, with all the power I have, and he's screaming out loud now, watch. Escape. Escape. And nobody saw what happened. Later on we will show in a slow motion what happened. <laughs> with my right hand I'm pulling his knee down, his left knee, and now I'm going to push his toes to the ground with my left hand. The people don't see what's going on, but this is a very bad lock. It could really tore your whole knee apart or even break your shin bone as we saw before. It's the same as a heel hook. I push this to the side and I'm leaning over here, right? Now this is important. Come around here. My elbow is constantly pushing here on the knee. See? This knee. I'm grabbing my leg. This is pushing on his knee. This is very important that you do this because otherwise it won't work. I'll show you why. Now, I'm leaning over, so it's hard for him to peel this hand off here. And now, look, I'm pushing the toes and he's going to tap. I can push the toes all the way to the ground. <laughs> that foot will make a complete reverse there. Now, watch, if I don't do this, it ain't working. So it's important that you lock up his shin in between your body, your ribs. It's on my ribs are over here. I'm pushing this down and grabbing this tight and I'll make sure the foot is not like this. It's hard, we did that already with that toe hold I showed you guys. Do it like this and I'll push straight down and he will tap. Very effective. Got me. Okay, so we were in this position. I forgot to tell you there's something way more destructive that you can do. Same position, okay? This was pushing down, he's going to tap. Now if he doesn't tap, what you can do Oh, watch out that you don't let this way too fast. <laughs> Push here, grab the heel, and I'll fall backwards. While you fall backwards, ta -ta 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 I mean, then you really do some damage on that knee. All right? Go to the toes also. Don't push the foot. Push the toes. You need a lot of leverage. It's hard for him to pull this arm off here. Try to pull this hand off. I can't. See? He can't. Have to, I have to pull you have to do that. But even when he does yeah. this, I'm going to push. He's going to tap. Want to be more destructive position. or he's very limber? Grab the heel and I'll just pull back what's in the Zoop! Bada bing, bada boom. Thank you. Do is make sure the foot is not like this because it's going to be hard to pull up. So if I have the foot like this, I'll do this. And now I pull here and I push and twist his knees out.